This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of... Where are you going, dude? We don't need to do that. To another episode of The Bard's Tale, Remaster Resnarkle. To the last episode, we were tasked to go into the tower. And unfortunately, there's multiple Traps. towers, and we had to fight right multiple here. obvious bosses. But uh, we're going to have to just go through it. Right now, we're going to have to fight uh, a version of um, Treebeard. Not as nice, though. Although we are rather small, so we should be fine. But anyway, let's go to the second level. Uh, off screen, I gained a, uh, another level. A um, I, I basically just grinded around here, got a little extra money. Not a ton of it, just to... I didn't really need the level per se, but um, I was mainly doing it for the money purposes. Um, uh, off screen, I went back to some of the old areas just to make sure I didn't miss like any random treasures and stuff like that. And apparently I did actually miss something in the Houghton... Um, forest. Uh, I found a hunter there after I uh, uh, killed a groose. And he said, oh, you like hunting groose? Well, I can take you to another place that has hunting. I'll show you the hunting grounds. So apparently there's a area we have to check out after all this is over. I don't know if we'll get to it today or not. We'll try to, but if not, then uh, no, that'll be fine. But I'll show you off. I probably should have recorded the conversation I had with him, but it was one of those things I just kind of did off the cuff and I forgot to make a save Am for it, so... I mean, it wasn't anything, like, major. Um, it was just a hunter saying, uh, oh, you like hunting, huh? You know, type of thing, so... Yeah. Although, there's probably gonna be things in this game I'm probably gonna miss anyway, so... It's not too surprising that I Traps. miss something. You know? right here. <laughs> just take care of them for you. And as far as I know, um, on the trap thing, uh... The Explorer does get rid of the traps. Um, I mean, they will reset if you... Uh, sorry, I was uh, messing with something there for a second. Um, the Explorer will get rid of the traps. Um, obviously, if you leave and come back the floor, it'll reset. You know but uh, yeah, he does get rid of the traps uh, for the rest of the floor. So if you have to like go back and explore or something like that, um, he'll, uh, he'll take care of them the first time. So you don't have to worry about activating every single time. So... Unlike if you did, ooh. oh, that's right. He does pick up uh, a junk. Nothing major, other than a obviously having the crystals are nice just in case that the hag dies. But uh, yeah, I almost forgot he picks up stuff too. So he he automatically finds treasure first. What's even worse if he is knocked out or whatever. That was Traps. Well, sometimes he right picks up the treasure. I guess he has certain priorities. I wonder how they do the light. Like, um, what the priority is for the explorer? For, I assume traps are his priority, and then he grabs treasure. And I, I, I bet you and uh, I bet you and Admiral Akbar would get along pretty well. Yep, and Admiral Akbar is still alive and well. Why are in, we uh, even in Star Wars. Yep, this? sure is. Even worse nothing happened to him at all. Right over here. Nothing, nothing bad ever happened to Admiral Akbar. He knows it's a trap. He would never get caught in that. Uh, anyway. Now you know how I feel, Ouch. laddie. Well, I mean, you you have a job to do, and you're supposed to take care of the traps. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Although it's annoying when the enemy jumps on the trap. Hey. I guess you've. Is it already been? I know certain traps will now keep you know resetting. How I feel, laddie. And then some will just activate now, once. Okay, so. See, you get a taste of my medicine. Okay, now, yeah, I don't know, like, what is. He should have been taking out that trap, and then he was just, like, running around, so. I don't know, man. Like I said, uh, I do like this game, but it does have some minor issues. Although, I guess you can't really blame the engine. Or, you can't blame. Well, I guess you could still blame the engine. Um, because it's not one they created, it's based off the. Uh, I think it's based off the Baldur's Gate, like the hack and slash engine, if I recall. Um, I think it's either in the credits or, or if you look it up online or something like that, it tells you that uh, um, it's based off the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance games. Although I think it's based more off the first one, because I think the second game was a bit more polished than this. Like those are fun little games. I'll have to see if I can. Unfortunately, I didn't actually buy those games when they came. Out. Well, I, well, I'm trying to remember. I, I think I bought them and then I sold them for some reason. I don't know why, but I did. And, uh, oops. I'll just wait for the, uh... Traps. Actually, I mean, we can get past that right trap. Uh, explore. What are you doing, dude? Like... 
I think I think he's a. Uh... Oh, he died. Huh. Well then. I didn't even notice his HP was so low. Oh, and then the crow died. Yeesh. Can you take out that trap, please? Like you're supposed to. There you go. I'm surprised that old man's strong enough to hold that back. Yeah, see, and then he gets rid of the trap somehow by breaking it. Although, like I said, it's not. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll put a spell on you. But yeah, I don't know why I I don't know why I never I bought those trap. games or kept them or whatever. Same with the Champions of Norath, the hack and slash. I really wish I kept that one because that one is like really hard to find. It, they only made so many copies of it, and it's kind of expensive to buy it physically. If I do want to play it, I'd have to uh, sail the seas right if you know here. what I mean. Because I don't I don't have a ton of money to be able to just like. Ah, man, the crown keeps getting killed. Well, low HP, man. All these things do a ton of damage, so... Open that chest, dude. Open that beautiful beam footage. Ah! Yeah, a bracelet, huh? Well, we can sell that... We can sell that memoriam to someone's love for something else. I can't oh, tell you how much I hope that happened. The only problem, I, th I think the only problem with having all the characters' voice is that you, Traps. you kind of wish that there's there was a chance to either um, reduce the uh, dialogue no, or, uh, or turn turn down the uh, frequency of it or something like that. Ah, shoot! Holy crap! They just like attacked me back to back to back to back. You know, I guess I could heal. I'll put a spell on you. Run back over here. Exploring. Hold back. I'll stay close. I'll stay close. Back off. Right behind you, dearie. Over here. In a moment, my pretty. Okay. Come to me. In a moment, my pretty. You no, know, I haven't. I haven't really been messing with the, uh, the, um, Stand control mechanics. I'll stay right over here. here. Okay. Moving as fast as I got. I got to remember to use those more often. Ow. Uh, you stupid plant, plus, plus. bush roots, dumber, dumber cousin, you know, no. Traps. Or whatever. Right, right over here. Oh, you think there'd be something right there, just the way it looked, but no. <sighs> Must stop. Trap. Yeah, it must be a, a bad existence to, to just be obsessed with traps so much. But yeah, like I said, uh, like the, the problem with like a lot of certain types of games, especially comedic games, is they tend to like over, like especially games where they repeat dialogue that they uh, they never find a way to turn off or turn it down or whatever. So it can sometimes get a little obnoxious depending on the uh, um, I smell a trap. Uh, game or whatever. This ain't too bad. It's not the worst defender when it comes to like. Di uh, like dialogue you wish you could turn down or turn off or whatever. I mean, you could technically, I could technically turn it off by turning down the sound, but you know what I mean. Um, what was the? There was another pretty bad offender. Uh, it was, well, there's a, there's a few of them, but one of them was a uh, lunar lunar for the P PlayStation, the lunar remake or redo for place the PlayStation. Lunar is a Silver Star story. The characters in that one would talk. Um, every time they used activated a battle ability, they'd always talk. And uh, um, <clears throat> at one point, I think it was like in the finale or whatever, uh, during the last boss or whatever, it uh, it got pretty bad at that, that point. Careful, a trap. They just kept talking, wouldn't shut up, you know, because it, it was such a long battle. Although the problem with the PlayStation One Lunar game, if I ever talk about uh, talk about it in great detail, let's just say it had a problem with like level scaling and and power and stuff like that that they fixed in the remake sequel. Although if I if I played those games, I'd probably play the I'd play the original um, version first before playing the remakes, just to show them off. I'd have to do that one of these days and uh, actually play the original Lunar game. That was pretty fun. I'll let you open it, dude. I'll give you something to do. Just a bit of junk. Uh, a land deed, huh? Oh, we just sell it, huh? We don't actually want to. Well, would we want to live in Houghton, though? Probably not. Why are we even bothering with this? 
I guess I guess the uh, benefit of having the explorer is other than the trap uh, traps or whatever. But if you somehow miss a uh, miss a treasure uh, that I didn't notice or see or whatever, um, he'll grab the treasure for me. I'm like, oh, oh, thank you. Oh, I didn't know you'd taken that much damage again. Maybe because of the plants do uh, so much like random little damage. It's a uh, hard in us. But I think the Explorer doesn't have any strengths against uh, regular attacks. I think his defense is against traps. You got a problem, so, laddie. You got a problem, laddie. I've always got a problem. Alright, time to go to the third floor. I think this place has four floors, I think? And the fourth floor is obviously the boss, I believe. Um, so, halfway there. Well, I guess more than halfway. To be you, from a certain point of view. Um, and yeah, another problem with the game is uh, um, the combat gets a little repetitious um, after a while. Yeah, You're like, oh, I've, already, a trap. I've already seen this before, but it depends on how often. Oh, oh, well, there is a trap, but we have to deal with the plant life here. Why are we need a, even need call, uh, with this? Oh, I didn't even know the monsters could actually <sighs> mess, him, mess up Must and stop in the stop. trap. Trap! Is gone, gone. You say. Um, I mean, I, I think. I mean, I, although I don't know if that's really a problem with the uh, ooh, silver torque torch. I would say torch, but it says T O R C, so I don't think you'd pronounce the ch part. But uh, let's look at the equipment. Uh, oh, it must be a token. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. A finely wrought talk of silver. This magnificent piece is certain to enhance the appearance of anyone who wears it. Torque, huh? Well, that's what I'm going to pronounce it because Tony J would never lie to me. Never. I, I, man, I really miss, like... I really miss like unique voices in games and stuff like that. Like there's voices, but I don't know. Is it maybe I'm being old and curmudgeon-y, But I swear, I, I it's the same with acting. You almost never see like unique-looking actors anymore, or or hear unique voices. It's like it's like everyone's been genetically designed or or, or orchestrated to be to act and be the same as everyone else because that's what everyone expects. I don't know why I'm talking about this in a comedic game, but uh, but you know, uh, well, I mean, obviously hearing voices like Tony J or uh, uh, trying to recall. I know, I know, like back in the old cartoon days, they had, like a uh, the guy who voiced Tony the Tiger, for example, he had a unique deep voice. Uh, was it John Rathbone or something like that? I think. Um, Doesn't you know, feel good. You should hear the original Tony the Tiger. Um, of what, the guy who did the original voice for Tony the Tiger back in the day. Was even worse the effort. Uh, I'm trying to remember his most well-known role. I mean, well, I, well, I guess it would be Tony the Tiger. But that's more of an ad. I was thinking of something more from the lines of um, acting or whatever, because I think he was a classically trained actor. Uh, you know, Shakespearean and all that fun stuff. And I've noticed, I, I could be wrong, but I think most modern actors don't even... Uh, train classically anymore via like um traps. oh wow right over here. Next war is almost dead apparently that one trap that slaps you with just a just a you know a vine or whatever does quite a bit of a damage either that or the crone's not a come to me in a moment my pretty oh wow yeah it does do a ton of damage look at that he defeated the trap but that's probably what hurt him the last couple times um all right up. Did the explorer actually attack, or am I just imagining things? Probably just imagining things. Okay, so that's a safe. Let me go. Look, usually if you find safe spot, it means you're going the trap. right way. I think there wasn't there. Wasn't there another direction I didn't go? Yeah, it was over this way. At least I believe so. Yeah. Oh, okay, it wasn't. That was a couple of enemies. Like I said, might as well. Any good rule of uh. Right over here. Um, at, like certain action games or whatever is usually it's a good idea just to fight everything and run across once not so much having to uh, go back through an old area or whatever 
well, I guess if you go back through an area, you could ex ignore it. Uh, treasure for you, lad. Okay. Now you don't have to buy the flail. I think it's an upgrade for the flail, too. Uh, the Crandarg? Uh, doesn't do too bad uh, damage. Um, stunning blow. Yeah, unblockable, 100%. So, um, but I think, actually, I could, well, I could show it off. No, I can't do that. Yeah. Oh, I don't have the feet. That's right, I have to have the feet to use a flail. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. Um, uh, I don't think there was anything back there. I think I... Yeah, okay. Just had a room. Yeah, I forgot I need the talent for using a flail. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll, maybe depending on the level I hit by the end of the game, I'll be able to show all that off. If not, maybe I'll do like a, a trap. I'll show like a bonus uh, episode or something like that, or maybe at the I end of the game. Ah! And then you just ignore it, turning it off. Great. I think it's my fault for not sending him to come here or follow me or something like that. God, that, that needle spit or whatever is such a heinous ability. I guess luckily I've been putting some of my... Oh yeah, I put my level into like Charisma and Vitality, I think, when I gained my level. Um, but no talent, so I didn't have to worry. I, I felt it wasn't necessary to show every level. Um, it really just depends on how you play. It'd be kind of interesting to play like a pure dex build and do just archery, but you'd have to basically summon the um, mercenary or bodyguard to do that. I bet that might be the re... That might be the reason to... to uh, um, use the bodyguard uh, more often because it, it doesn't seem to work as well for a melee build character. Because you just uh, you just usually run past them anyway. So. Yeah, all this. Wait, wait, did I get hit by a trap? I, don't know, sometimes, I wonder if his dialogue just kind of overlaps. You know. Oh, maybe the uh, <coughs> maybe the poison is considered a trap or something like that. I gotta oops, summon the spore again. And of course, me taking too long got the uh, crown killed. Right over here. Oh, no, I'm taking too much damage to not summon, not keep the crown in reserve or whatever. If I wasn't taking as much damage, I would probably ignore the crown. But yeah, with the bodyguard, I feel like he doesn't, he doesn't. He's supposed to block attacks and stuff like that, but I feel like being melee, he would have trouble trying to block all the attacks that are hitting me, so... Although, maybe he's more designed for ranged combat, the blocking. Right over here. Mm. Uh, uh, oh. Wait for him to... Trap. Over it. Moving as fast as I Trap. can. Of course, the crone ran into it. You, can, you see she got stuck, like, right on the trap. So... <laughs> Now that was enjoyable. Ah, she got killed as soon as she got summoned. Oh, okay. oh, there it is. Stop. But he stopped that trap. I'll put a spell on you. Oh, maybe it's because he keeps getting smacked. Oh, maybe that's why he keeps getting killed. That's why he's not shutting off the trap. Or I mean, killed. He keeps getting hit, so he can't he can't shove the trap efficiently. Because it, it stops his uh, progress. You got a problem, okay. Laddie. You got a problem, I probably should have. Uh, because I think uh, I think the fourth floor is the top of this. Did I say anything up here? Careful, nope. All right, so I need to go back. There's a trap. Really? I ah come on, man. Uh, it, you go around and there's not. It doesn't let you like circle it. It, it blocks it off for whatever reason. Yeah, I know the map shows that it does, but Traps. you know it's one of those things you don't really. Right over here. Why you think, oh, well, the crone's actually trying to attack? Huh. Uh -oh. He should actually, now that nothing's stopping him, he should actually stop the trap now. Yep. I think, yeah, it looked like, it looked, because it looked like every time he was, he stopped the trap, I think he got hit, like, right before the end of it. So it, it, it stopped the, his ability or whatever. Oh, ow. young man. What are you doing? Why do you do that, Crone? Even when hey, I tell her to uh, come back, she still uh, like hangs out right below the uh, trap. Oh, okay. So she, so she, 
We got summoned into the trap. Yeah, like I said, this game has some minor issues to it. Why are we even bothering with this? It is, it is, it is kind of funny. I don't know. Late, the the priestess, you know, or priestess, the the princess, you know. It's all for the princess. I do it all for the princess, honey. Do 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 it all for the princess. Do, 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 do. I mean, I've been. I've been, uh, what is it? I've been taught to say princesses since my early days of childhood, ever since Mario, so it, it's ingrained in my soul. Okay, I'll just open it myself. Then we get a, oh, a keepsake? Alright, some more gold. Hey, we can finally afford a map now. Oh, better stay away from the, ah, oh, I got hit. I was about to say, better stay away from that, and then he gets smacked by the freaking four and fauna. Actually, more flora than fauna, really. Okay, it looks like we went around. Okay, nothing else here, so... Alright, let's uh, make it to the top of the floor and finally be to fight this... Uh, um, I was trying to think of another uh, Seymour lookalike. Well, he's not as big as Seymour. And I'm not going to be feeding him either. Or either. Whatever. So, not a too not too bad of a dungeon overall. It's dangerous. Uh, definitely the traps do quite a bit of damage. But if my problem has been the um, random, like, uh, like just mess ups from the from the AI and everything so all right let's head up to Hearn's chamber and start uh, be defeat the first tower as promised Hearn met the bard atop the tower if the bard wished the flame of the tower extinguished he would first have to extinguish the life of its guardian you may have made it this far but your journey ends here prepare to die die I've got too much to live for. But an old weed like yourself wouldn't understand such things. Time to do a little gardening, I think. Alright, a battle against her, and I realized just now that I should have unsummoned the explorer and uh, summoned someone else to help me with the... See, now I can't... Uh-oh. Uh um, who do I want to summon? I, w I almost want to summon the spider, but the, the problem with the spider is during... Um, during a, a cutscene, his his little static key, uh, still plays or goes, so kind of it kind of almost ruins the. Uh, um, gonna have to, I think we might have to. Well, I have to take care of the creatures, but I might have to bow him. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh, Died again, which is to be expected. Maybe I should choose the mercenary instead. He might be more. It seems like he blocks uh blocks rain or blocks melee attacks. It might be yeah, it might be better to summon um Oh, where'd he go? Oh there he is. The only problem with, with doing this is I don't have my decks in the very high, so I'm not doing as much damage with the bow as I would like. Be healed. Mm, yeah. I mean, there's probably a way to hit him via melee. Um, but, uh... But he's not blocking my arrow, even though you can block arrows. Um, are you gonna attack him? I didn't think I didn't think I had to straight up say attack to get him to attack. You know, usually that's default for him, isn't it? Oh yeah, for whatever reason he doesn't really show on the his. Uh, but maybe it's because there's too many green spots on the mini map. Yeah, I should be doing a lot more damage, but because of the uh, him, he keeps blocking all my melee attacks, so. Oh well, it looks like he kind of blocks non-melee. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just getting really unlucky. That keeps me out from getting attacked. Yeah, this fight should probably be going a lot faster, but no well. At least the fire does a decent amount of damage and it burns over time. You see, like, it's not a ton, but it hurts him outside of his blocking or whatever. I bet none of the other weapons do that. Oh, we gained a level. Nice. 
I guess we should level up the now. Stronger the bar um, is, the more yeah, damage he can inflict with melee Christmas weapons. Not, eh? So that'll shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the bard uh, if he has high charisma. Rhythm allows the yeah, bard to try play the, magical well, yeah. tunes with greater skill, enhancing oh, we get the another statistics feat, uh, of summoned uh, creatures. Uh, dual, yeah, allows doing the this in the middle of a fight. With a dirk in one hand uh, and a sword in the other. Could do spinning charge or a spinning smash, which allows spinning us to do the uh, high damage the two attack. Weapon skill. Hmm. Or do I want to try an improved chance critical? to score a more deadly critical hit? Uh. Let's let's go with spinning smash and see how that works. Okay. Well, we're not using this in this combat anyway. You're a little soft, aren't you? I'm not soft. You're soft. Shut up. Bullseye. Okay, he's almost gone. Yeah, this boss ain't actually that tough if you just range it. <laughs> I wonder if they I wonder if they designed kept design that with that in mind or not. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you know, uh, designing bosses isn't exactly a science. Oh wait, yes it is. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I bet you'd have said that to any other guy. Had any lived to make it this far. The others paled in comparison to you. Looks like most of them were impaled, actually. Looks Yet like you most of them. Were... the journey up the tower. Yeah, but I have a few choice words for the gardener. Stay valiant, my love. You need now go to the second tower, which you can reach by taking a dangerous and peril filled journey through the mountains. I don't suppose you have a map. Oh, if only I did. You will need to go back to Kirkwall and see Bove. Does the term vicious circle mean anything to you? He's waiting for you and will guide you through the mountains. A different instrument is needed to enter the mountain tower. Bove knows of its location and can help you obtain it on your way through. Be certain to take the spirit stone of Han. His power will now be added to your own. You better be damn rich. That's all I can say. More than you will be able to spend in your lifetime, my love. But you must hurry. The next torch must be put out soon. Speaking of putting out... Hurry, my champion! I hate it when she does that. The Bard had no time for rest, for the danger of this tower had not yet passed. <laughs> All right, and we get Hearn as a summon now. So yeah, uh, or if we go to the screen, yeah, now Hearn can be summoned. Same same thing as before. I'll show that off later. Um, yeah, I like the fact that the bard kind of knows that he's being squirreled, but he can't help but not get involved anyway for the hope of actual reward. You know, he's like, I kind of know what's going on, but mm, I must, I must still do this anyway. Meanwhile, back in Kirkwall, one of the Bard's past errors would come back to haunt him. Bloody idiot Bard made me come out here, middle of the night, bloody rain. Well, it looks like the bard's uh, luck is going from uh, from suck to blow as we had to go back through the dungeon again, but instead of having to deal with the plant life, we had to deal with the crazy cult druid things or whatever they are. Will we be able to get through the, the, the rest of the tower with our skin intact? And what happened to the farmer? What did he become that we know of yet?
Find out next time in the next episode of The Bard's Tale, remastered and re -snarkled. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.